a designer or more or less a, a visual strategist, which is fundamentally what we do, um, has a responsibility which is, which is dualistic. A lot of designers tend to be facing one direction, which is the client's paying me, so I'll do what the client says, here's the stuff. But we feel here very strongly that we also have responsibility towards the people who will have to live with that communication. Your first task is to really understand what it is that you've really been asked to do and what possible solutions might need to be. Uh, so you're looking at what is the organisation, uh, what work have they had done for them before, what is the point of the piece of work that they've asked you to do. The project always starts with a brief. You're being asked to do something like create a logo or uh, create a publication or make a website. But uh, you can't really even start before you've understood truly who the audience for that piece of communication is going to be. As a designer, thinking about the end user, you know, if you're not thinking about the end user, then why are you a designer? You know, if you're not really, you're an artist, and that's great, but artists aren't really interested in the end user, they're interested in making their statement. It all starts the end user, you know, getting yourself into the user's shoes. I go out, we wander around and we talk to people, we pick up the gossip. I mean, the other methods we use really is um, scenario planning, um, which comes from interaction design. Very easy to design as a website, thinking about what's the scenario, but we just very easy to work out how to navigate a building by thinking of the scenario. And the scenario puts the user at the centre of the design, not what my sign looks like, um, which is where the client starts with. Um, so uh, that's a very strong technique. The next stage that you go through is then some initial ideas, some concepts for the piece of work, and then you have to look at all the constraints that you have, the constraints of time, of budget, of uh, production method. Prototyping is great. On a very mundane graphic design level, that might be just making dummies of books. Does it feel right? <laughs> yeah. Does it flip nicely? But uh, where, it's, where it's available, prototyping is great fun. You, you learn such a lot from it. To a designer, everybody's going to go, oh, it looks beautiful. It's just right. You take it on the street and people go, I don't get it. And you're like, oh, that doesn't work. So we go back and we do new ways and we take it on the street and we see if people get it. Because we just, we want it to function. And we want it to be beautiful. And I don't see why you can't have both.